All right, so today we are going to be graphing linear equations. So yesterday we had a graph already created and we had to turn that graph into a linear equation that looked like y equals mx plus b. Today we're going to have an equation and our job is going to be to create a graph that represents that equation. The first thing we're going to do is look at our equation and find the slope and the y-intercept. And we're going to write both of those pieces of information down so that we have them for later because we're going to need both of those things in order to graph. Okay, after we have both of those pieces of information, we're going to plot our first point at the y-intercept. So our first point is going to go along our y-axis at wherever the y-intercept from our equation tells us. So there are a couple of different things you're going to see. If you see y equals mx plus a number, so in this case we'll say the number is 4, you're going to start at positive 4. If your equation looks like this, y equals mx minus a number, you would start at negative 4. Again, both of those points would be along the y-axis. So the vertical line that goes down the center of our graph, we would be at positive 4 in the first case, or negative 4 in the second case. If you have no y-intercept, so your equation looks like y equals mx, you're just going to start at the origin, which is the point 0, 0. After we have our first point, we're going to have to create a second point. In order to find our second point, we're going to start at the first point, use our slope, and count to move to our second point. So our slope should be a fraction that equals rise over run. So we're going to use that first point. We're going to count up or down, right or left to find our second point, and then we're going to plot our second point. After we have our second point, we're going to use our two points to create our line. All right, we're going to do a couple of examples. <laughs> All right, so if we go back to our directions, our first step says that we're going to look at our equation. We're going to find the y-intercept, and we're going to find our slope. So in this equation, remember our y-intercept is this second number that's being added or subtracted. And remember, since this is subtracted, I'm going to say that my y-intercept is negative 2, so I don't forget to plot it at negative 2. Then, my slope is whatever is the coefficient of x, so it's connected to my x, so in this case it is 7 over 2. Our second step says plot your first point at the y-intercept. Okay. So I'm going to go along my y-axis. My y-intercept is negative 2, so I'm going to plot my first point right here at negative 2. Then I'm going to use my slope to find my second point. So I'm going to start at my first point, not at the origin unless that is my first point. 
and I'm going to rise seven because this slope is rise over run. So I'm gonna rise seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna run two. And since it's a positive two, I'm gonna go to the right. One, two. Now I have two points. I can use those two points to create a line. So I'm gonna use a nice straight edge to create my line. Okay, nice straight edge to connect my two points. And because it's a line, not a line segment, it's gonna go through the points and have arrows on the end. Okay, let's look at number two. We're going to find our Y intercept which is a positive three. And our slope is negative six. But remember when we were writing slope the other day, we always put it, if it was a whole number, over one because we need to know where to go once we go up or down. Okay, then we're going to plot our first point at the y-intercept, which we said was three. So we're gonna go along the y-axis, find positive three, put a point, And then our slope is negative six over one. So since my six is negative, I'm gonna start at my first point and I'm gonna go down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then over one to the right because it's a positive one. And plot my second point. I now have two points, which is all I need to create a line. So I'm going to connect those two points, put my line and my arrows at the end.